Hello, everyone. This is first part of chapter four. Chapter four is introduction to valuation. This is very important chapter because we will learn very important concept in finance, which is time value of money. First part, we will see future value. So let's look at time value of money. Suppose you put $100 in the bank and were able to earn 10% interest. What would you have in one year's time? I believe you think this is fairly simple question. You have $100 today and you go to bank, then it gives you 10 percent interest for one year so you will have 10 percent interest which is ten dollars so you have 110 dollars you can rewrite these 100 times one plus 10 percent now what about two years later now two years later in one year, you have $110. Now you have 110 times 10% because your new balance is 110. So you're going to have 110 plus $11 equals 121. This is same as $100 times 1 plus 10%. That's first year. And multiply by 1 plus 10% again. Second year, which is 100 times one plus 10 person square. So we can recognize that $100 today will increase 110 and 121 in one year and two years if interest rate is 10%. Meaning that $100 today will be different to the value of $100 a year later because today's $100 will change based on the interest rate. This is called the time value of money. You cannot compare cash flow directly if their timings are different. We need to convert to the common timing and compare. So if you want to compare $100 today and $100 a year later, then we need to find certain common time. So let's say interest rate is 10% and let's convert the value to year later. Then $100 today become $110 a year later. $100 a year later is $100 that time, right? Which means today's $100 value more than year later, $100. Before moving on, we will learn how to draw this cash flow. This is called a timeline. Timeline means we want to draw the cash flow based on the different timing. So this is T marks, and T marks is at the end of the period. So at the end of the first period, at the end of the second period, at the end of the third period. This is first year, second year, and third year. And then below T marks, write a cash flow. If cash flows are in, which means I receive cash, then it's positive. If cash flow is out, so I pay cash, cash flows are negative. So that's how to draw the cash flow. This is just promise. I will going to, I'm going to use this timeline very often. And this is just promise. So we automatically know that, well, this is the end of the period and that this is cash flow at the end of the period like this.
So basic definition of the future value and present value. Present value is the current value of the future cash flow. We discount this cash flow at appropriate discount rate. So it's a value at time equal to zero, which is present. So previous example, like the, the timeline, this cash flow is present values. Future value is the amount of investment it's worth after one or more periods. So later cash flow. In timeline, these later cash flows are all future cash flow. Future value. So this is general formula to get a future value from present value. We have case two years later with $100 present value with 10% interest and future value is $121. So future value equals to present value times one plus interest rate to the teeth number of periods. So we have another example here. Suppose you invest the $100 from the previous example for five years. So 10% interest, but now five years in number of periods. How much would you have using the formula future value equals to present value times one plus R to the teeth. So the present value 100 times one plus 10% to the fifth, which is $161.05. So if you look at this example, if so this is T, this is value, this is cash flow. I mean, this $100 today become 110 and become 121, not 120. Because you receive interest on interest already received. This is called a compound interest. Compound interest. So compound interest, interest earned the principal and on interest received, which is very reasonable because you do not use it, you have to get it. So for example, future value is simple interest after two years, it's simply just receive the original principal interest $10 two times and 120. But in fact, because compound interest, you receive 121. This $1 comes from the 10% of these first year $10 you received. Because of this effect, if you look at the graph, then you can clearly see this blue part keep increasing. That blue part is interest on interest. Okay, so that's called compound interest. Now, before moving on again, let's learn how to use financial calculator. This class requires you to have Texas Instruments BA2 plus calculator. Before using it, we need to set up two things. First, we need to set number of decimal places to display. The default number of decimal places is the two, which is too few. So let's increase at least the four decimal places so that we can answer promptly. So press the second button first. Let's say, let's use this. This is, there's a second button. So this is second. And press format. So if you press button, second button, 
that is like shift key in your keyboard. So it ch the key changes the one above the key, but so it, this the comma dot actually this is dot uh, change to format. So second format, then you will see D E C equals to two point zero zero. That's the number of decimal places. We need to change to four, so press four and you press enter. Then you should see now DEC equals to 4.0000. That's the thing that you, you need to have. And then press C button about twice, then it comes back to 0, 0.0000. So that's the first thing you have to do. Second format, and then look at the DEC equal to 2.00 usually, and four enter, and just press C several times, then you're fine. The second thing you have to make sure if payment per period or P over Y should be set to one. The default mode is one. Just make sure if it is one. So press second again, and then press P over Y, which is above the I over Y, and enter one and then enter. And press C button several times. I, you probably do not have to change this, but just, just confirm it. Now for this chapter, we're gonna use so-called TVM function. TVM function is the time value of money function. There are five keys on the third row of the calculator. So this row is TVM function. The first button is N and it's number of period. Second button is I over Y is interest rate. Third button is the PV, the present value. The fourth button is the PMT, it's called the payments. We are not gonna use this PMT in chapter four. So just always, always just uh, make it zero for in chapter four. We will use it in chapter five. And then final button is the FV, is a future value button. So let's calculate the future value 10% interest five years later and the present value $100. Before using the TVN function, you have to make sure that you clear this spreadsheet, the function. So to clearly, you have to press second first, again second, right? and then press clear TVM. Then it clears previous memory. It's better for you to clear, clear it again after you use it, but at least, at least don't forget to clear everything before using it. So clear the calculator and then, I mean, the order of input doesn't matter. Just for convenience, uh, for the convenience, I will usually keep this order from the left to right, but doesn't matter actually. So let's start with N. N is five years. So you press five first, number first, and then press N, okay? Then you should see N equals to 5.0000 because we change the number of decimal places to four, right? This equal means you are in, your numbers in this cell, in this variable. 
Next one is interest rate. When you put interest rate into the calculator, you have to be careful. This case interest rate is 10%. We all know that 10% is 0 0.1, right? However, this calculator automatically assumes that interest rate are going to, in, to put as a percentage. So instead of 0 0.1, we should put 10 and interest rate i over y. So 10 and i over y, then you should see i over y equals to 10.0000, right? The next one is the present values, present values. Now suppose we make a deposit. That's our assumption, right? Making deposit means you go to bank, open the accounts and put the cash into your accounts. So cash flow direction is from your pocket to the bank, which means from your perspective, this is our flow of cash. It means because this is outflow, we have to put negative number. So 100 first, so 100, zero, zero, that's 100, right? And then you have to change sign by pressing plus minus button. Then you just see negative 100. Then you have to press what? Press present values. You should see present value equals to negative $100. Now I'll skip the decimal places, you know. Final, uh, final one is the PMT. Again, PMT is always zero in this chapter, right? So just to simply put zero and PMT. So zero PMT. And then we want to get future value, which means you have to press compute, CPT first. So we want to compute the future value. Press future value. Then you should see future value equals to $161.05. Exactly same number as our manual calculation, which is great. So this is how to use financial calculator. If you have, you have to practice a lot actually. This is not easy, I know. Uh, once you get used to, using it, this is good. But you need to practice to be familiar with using calculator. I recommend you to practice a lot. And if you have questions, just let me know. There are tons of like YouTube video uh, instructions actually, or you can actually go to the Texas Instrument uh, manuals to get the information. Obviously, you can ask me. You can also use Excel spreadsheet. Using Excel is not um, required in this class, but because we use Excel very often, I'm going to show how to use it. So if you look at the slide, then there is an Excel icon. So if once you find this Excel icon, just double click, then you will have access pressure embedded uh, in your slide all the time. So if you double click, then you, you will have this pressure. 
And the future value, so we know that N is five, and interest rate is 10%. Now, when you use Excel, you need to use 10%, not, 0 .9, not 10, okay? This is 10% or 0 0.1. That's different between Excel and the calculator. The present value negative 100, and this parenthesis means negative. We know PMT equals to zero. Then to get a future value, what you should do is the future value. And then first one is the rate, which is interest rate. And second is NPER, that's number of periods, so N. Third one is PMT. And the fourth one is present value. And the type, you can just ignore type at this time. Just uh, close the parentheses then you will have $161.05. That's another way to find the future value. Excel is very convenient. However, I recommend you to use practice the calculator first, calculator first, because using Excel is a lot easier to learn, especially uh, for this class. But I believe this is only class then that you learn calculator. And sometimes you, you, you cannot access to Excel, especially during the exam, during the licensing exam, certificate exam, Excel is not allowed. You should use this type of calculator. You know, that's very important. So I strongly recommend you to practice calculator for this class. Let's go back to our slide. Now we have pop quiz. So you have 10,000 to invest. You will have, you will need the money in five years and you expect to earn 8%. How much will you have in five years? The tip is you need to find future value with 8% interest five years later with $10,000 present value. So let's solve it. So as we find, Excuse me. We can easily use calculator to find this answer. We know n is five, so again, clear calculator first. So second, clear TVM. So second, clear TVM. And then n is what? N is five. So five, and again, always number, and then letter, variable. <coughs> Excuse me. Interest rate is 8%. So eight, interest rate, not 0 0.8, 0 0.8, just eight. Present value, now, again, you have to be careful about the direction of cash flow. It's $10,000 to invest, which means you are going to invest cash flow out, negative. 10,000, and then change the sign. So 10,000, oh, I'm sorry, 10,000, and then change the sign to negative, and present value. PMT is a zero for this chapter zero PMT and then press CPT compute future value. You should have future value equals to $14,693.28. So fairly easy, but practice a lot. No, practice, practice, practice. From these relations, like the future value equals the present value times one plus r to the teeth, we can find that the longer the time period, so as t increases, the higher the future value. The future value increases, right? So the exponent factor, t increase, future value increase. So you have more time, you have more money. The higher the interest rate, so r increase, again, future value increase, 
higher interest rate, you have more value in the future. Very intuitive, right? So that is about future value. And next part, we'll see the present value. So see you in the next part.